Hi, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm excited to talk to you today about Lindsay Stoddard's middle grade novel, Brave Like That. This is the story of a boy named Cyrus uh, who lives with his adopted father and his, her fa his father is a firefighter and a legend in this town, like a football legend. When Cyrus was a baby, he was dropped off at the fire station and the firefighters all rushed him to the hospital and Cyrus's dad ended up adopting him. And Cyrus's dad is amazing, an amazing person. And uh, Cyrus does feel all of this pressure from the community to be a football player because his dad was a star. And he doesn't really wanna play football. Like, he likes watching football and he likes going to games with his dad, but he doesn't really wanna play football and he's really struggling. So much that he like throw, they have a tryout and he like intentionally plays terrible so that he doesn't have to be on the team because uh, he doesn't really want to play at all. But he kind of gets put on the B team and he's trying to get out of it because he really doesn't like football. And for me, what a great storyline to have in a book. Uh, as someone who has coached uh, like Pop Warner, like fourth, fifth and sixth grade football, I coached that probably for six to six or seven years with my father. And I also coached a couple of years, a few years of middle school football. And I will tell you this, Football is a terrible sport to play if you don't want to play. Every single season that I coached, there were kids on the field that didn't want to be there. And they didn't know how to tell the people in their lives that they didn't want to be there. And it was really wonderful when parents were complaining about playing time and why isn't my kid playing? And I thought to myself, your kid doesn't want to play. They don't want to play. They enjoy hanging out with their friends, but they don't want to be on the field. They don't want to hit. Football is not a sport for them. But I had to kind of be much more delicate in that. And I'm hoping that kids that feel like that, those kids that don't want to play football or basketball or baseball or be in the band, kids who are kind of being pushed into things that they don't want to be a part of. I hope that this book gives them some ideas of how to handle that. I hope it helps them to see that they are not alone. Uh, my son doesn't play football. I played football, all my brothers played football, my dad was a wonderful football player, and I'm totally cool with him not playing football, like I'm totally cool with him playing all of his instruments. But I know that everyone's not like that, and I hope that kids, and maybe even parents, get a chance to, to experience this book. It's a wonderful story, readers are going to love it, a lot of kids need to know that they are not alone in this situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means so much to me. I hope you're finding wonderful books in your life that you can read and share with kids. There is something special about books. Have a wonderful day and happy, happy reading.